my sense of the cultural zeitgeist is accurate, and uh, I do believe it is, this is the year that Chris Mika sweeps the nation, okay, people? here welcome back to another episode today i'm going to be doing a part two of the holiday chrismica for those of you who don't know what chrismica is it is hanukkah and christmas combined it became popular from the tv show the oc if you want to check out my part one i made a chrismica dreidel as well as challah eggnog bread pudding those are two both great recipes but today i'm going to be making a chrismica souvgagnot Suvganyot is a donut you make over Hanukkah and is typically filled with strawberry jelly and covered with powdered sugar. But I'm going to be adding a little spin on the classic and make it Chrismica. The Chrismica flavors for the Suvganyot will be candy cane, gingerbread, and chocolate chip. You can leave Santa. Instead of Santa getting chocolate chip cookies with milk when he comes down the chimney, he can get a chocolate chip souvgagnot and he'll be sure to leave you more presents because Santa loves donuts too. What's your diet like? Milk and cookies? Really? But I don't finish all the milk. Add a quarter of an ounce dry yeast, one tablespoon of sugar, and a fourth a cup of warm water and mix until the yeast is dissolved. Crack open one egg and one yolk, add a half a cup of sugar, and pour in one cup of warmed milk. Then you can combine it together in your standing mixer. In a separate bowl, combine three cups of flour, a half a teaspoon of salt, and then add it to the wet ingredients. Cube three tablespoons of butter and slowly add it to the dough. Now that the dough is ready, Cut it into three parts for the three different flavors of the souvgagnot. For the gingerbread souvgagnot, add sugar, cinnamon, and ginger, and knead it really well into the dough. For Santa's chocolate chip souvgagnot, add a bunch of chocolate chips and also knead that into the dough. For the candy cane souvgagnot, I did not add anything into the dough, but I will cut it now into three rustic sized pieces to roll the souvgagnot. It doesn't have to be exact. Roll the dough on a lightly floured surface with a circular motion with your hand to form the souvgagnot shape. Once all your dough is rolled out, proof it until it is double in like size. Souvgagnots like donuts are typically fried, but I'm going to be baking my souvgagnot and show you a trick to get the fried taste without all that fried mess. Bake the souvgagnot at 375 for about 10 minutes. Now here's the trick. As soon as the souvgagnot comes out of the oven, brush it everywhere with melted butter and the butter will absorb into the dough which will give it that fry taste. For the peppermint souvgagnot, add peppermint icing into the dough and then pipe more along the outside. Dip the icing into peppermint flavored sprinkles, which will give it a nice and beautiful candy cane color. For the gingerbread souvgagnot, I whipped up some cream and I'll pipe it into the middle of the souvgagnot and make a nice, beautiful, big rosette and sprinkle it with more of the cinnamon ginger sugar mixture on top. Santa souvgagnot, I'm going to be adding some Nutella into the middle and then add some Nutella on the outside. After that, I will dip it into more chocolate chips and then drizzle it with white chocolate. All the souvgagnot turned out so beautiful. I can't wait to serve these at my Christmas cup party. And the best part is they taste even better. They're so fluffy and delicious and they're stuffed with a whole bunch of different fillings. I mean, what's better than peppermint, cream, and chocolate? It's like the trifecta of a great combination. And Santa likes them. I put them on the mantle so when it comes out of the chimney, he'll be able to get donuts and milk. And I'll be sure to get extra presents this year because Santa likes donuts too. <laughs> I hope you guys have a happy holiday. I'm Medicaid Foodie Flair. See you next time.